All right, here we have a 2004 Jetta, and this applies to years 2004, five, and six uh, TDI diesel engines. And what happened with this car is it went into a limp mode at about 50 miles an hour when it was hot, about 70 kilometers an hour when it was hot. Um, when you turn your key off and then start your car again, uh, it would go into normal operation, but it would soon trip again as soon as you put it under load. Now, a diesel is a pretty neat uh, engine compared to a gas. It needs three things to run just like a gas, but it, it functions in a different way. Um, air, fuel, and compression. Um, compression being a big one, but we're gonna eliminate that because the engine is running and uh, starts uh, as normal as it should. Um, air in a diesel is supplied by the turbo, and fuel is uh, injected and controlled through a computer on this one. So it's probably one of those two. Now, um, the fact that it happens instantly at 50 miles an hour or 70 kilometers an hour uh, makes me think that it's not the turbo and it has something to do with the computer not getting any uh, signals that, it, that it's used to. It's outside of its parameters. So this, this car did not have the engine light on. Um, and there's a few things that could, could do that without actually triggering a code. So we scanned it for codes, but we didn't get any codes. Um, now a computer needs to see how much air is coming into the engine and then add the fuel accordingly. Uh, there's no throttle plate like in a gas engine. It's wide open all the time. So there, it is heavily relied on the turbo itself. Now, um, when we beat on the engine for a little bit to try and uh, drive a little bit more aggressive to try and get it to act up quicker or in different scenarios, we eventually uh, triggered the engine light and it was an overboost situation and it triggered overboost code. Uh, that eliminated the MAF because the MAF will not trigger an overboost situation. It will do an underboost situation, but we were able to eliminate the MAF that way. We unplugged the MAF and drove with it that way, and it still acted the exact same way. Uh, while we were drove, driving it and on our scanner, we were able to uh, keep an eye on uh, what the MAF was doing, and as soon as it triggered it, the MAF readings would drop down to uh, around 80, which uh, doesn't signify that the MAF is an issue, it's just because the, um, the fuel was being cut back, it, uh, the MAF started receiving less air because the, um, the, the turbo was acting up. So this turbo has a wastegate, as a lot of turbos do, and a wastegate is, is able to divert the exhaust flow so that you don't overboost your engine. Overboosting your engine um, is a term called giving it too much boost uh, and getting into dangerous uh, situations with your head gaskets. You could put too much air into your engine and your, your gaskets would be the sacrificial thing that, that blows out, expensive to fix. Um, on a lot of the diesel trucks that we work on, the uh, wastegate is actuated by boost pressure, so as you put boost to it, it works on a diaphragm and overcomes the spring pressure and opens the wastegate, diverting the exhaust gases around the turbine and uh, slowing your turbo down. The way these Jettas work is the wastegate is normally open and it uses vacuum to close the wastegate. And, and uh, they do that so that if there's an issue with vacuum lines or um, uh, the actuator itself, it, it just runs like a dog and has no power rather than an overboost situation which could be very expensive um, it just goes into a limp mode and, and your your complaint would be that I have no power so what we want to do is check our our intake make sure it's not all carboned up because of the EGR these these intake and throttle bodies here have a tendency of carboning up and uh, we also want to make sure that this valve is working properly so this valve is also meant to open and close and control the airflow and if that isn't working then it will also uh, run like a bag. Now this is my brother's car and uh, it's seen many miles and he doesn't want to put, want to put a pile of money into it. So, um, finding out that the turbo is okay and that the intake is clean and that the, the throttle valve is moving there, that uh, we're pointing to this N75 valve and this actually controls the vacuum to the wastegate actuator and um, is only about 35 bucks off eBay. So we grabbed a used one from Tuesday because we wanted it instantly just to try and make, uh, see if that was the issue. We found one at Tuesday's there, threw it on there, and away we go. We got a nice cheap fix for a limp mode um, where uh, somebody might tell you it's the turbo, replace the turbo. There's a lot of diagnosing to do before that. So um, we got lucky on this one, about a $40 fix on this with, a lot, with some diagnosing time and uh, 
Hope you have the same results and it's a nice cheap fix for you guys. So here we go. So this is a 2004 Jetta with 330,000 kilometers on it, 1500 bucks as is. Needs some work, but definitely uh, still roadworthy. If you want it, hit me up at sales at gmail.com. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.